Have you broken your clavicle or know someone who did? Keep watching and we're going to show you one of the ways we can repair a fractured clavicle. The clavicle is a curved bone that forms the main bony strut from your body to your arm by attaching to part of the scapula. A fractured clavicle is a common injury, and depending on the severity of the injury, sometimes a surgery is required to repair the clavicle. The clavicles are most commonly broken in the middle part of the bone called a mid-shaft fracture. Simple fractures have a single fracture line, and fractures that are more complicated with multiple fragments are called comminuted fractures. Open reduction internal fixation is just a fancy way of saying that the surgeon goes down to the bone, realigns the fragments of the bone, and secures them in some way. In this particular case, a plate and screws are used. These implants come in sets with most of the equipment needed for the repair. These sets include the plates themselves of various sizes and lengths, and they're actually made for the right and left sides specifically. Screws, which include screws of different sizes and lengths. Drill bits of different sizes. Clamps, which help us reduce the fracture back together and help us secure the plate to bone. Drill guides, which helps us precisely place the drill bit through the plate to the bone and depth gauges, which helps us measure for the precise length of the screw. The sets are sterilized and compact ready to go. They're delivered to the operative field where they are opened. When we open the set, you can see how everything comes packaged and has its place. The plates, the screws, the drill bits, drill guides, etc. The plates come in various sizes and are contoured to the shape of the clavicle to allow it to sit well on the bone and minimize any irritation from the hardware after surgery. Depending on the fracture, the surgeon will select the plate of appropriate length. After the fracture is put back into position in a process called reduction, the plate is clamped to the bone. We are then ready to start to drill to secure the plate in place. We use the drill guides to help position the screws appropriately and center them in the plate hole as closely as possible. Once the hole is drilled, we measure for the screw length, making sure it's long enough to engage both sides of the bone. The set comes with different screw types. There are cortical screws, which help compress the plate to the bone, and then there are locking screws, which actually have threads from the screw that engage into the plate, creating a very rigid construct. In some cases, we will use screws outside the plate called lag screws. Lag screws are used to compress components of the fracture together. The plate then stabilizes the whole construct and protects the repair against forces such as bending and twisting. And so we work to fill each additional hole with a screw, drilling, measuring, and then selecting and placing the appropriate screw and then working our way along the plate along the fracture placing each additional screw ideally we are able to place approximately three screws on either side of the fracture site finally coming to the last screw we drill measure and place the last screw and the repair is complete. So hopefully after watching this video, you've got a general idea of how we can repair a clavicle fracture, open reduction, internal fixation, utilizing plates and screws. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.